Hi, question number 7, taken from June 2014, A-Level Maths HSE Paper 3. It is given that minus 1 plus root of 5i is a root of the equation z cubed plus 2z plus a is equal to 0, where a is real. Showing your working, find the value of a and write down the other complex root of this equation. For the second part, the complex number w has modulus 1 and argument 2 um, theta radians. Show that w minus 1 over w plus 2 is equal to i tan of theta, 8 marks. Okay, to um, be able to find the value of a, we're going to substitute the root here into this equation. We've got this z cube. What is z cube? It is z square times z, and z is all of that. So therefore, minus 1, okay, plus root of 5i to the square times minus 1 plus... 5 root of 5i then plus 2z 2 times minus 1 plus root of 5i plus a is equal to 0 let us do the quadratic expansion of this first I mean first of all this one that's going to become 1 minus 2 root of 5i plus root of 5 to the square is 5i to the square is I mean i to the square is i square so 5i square okay and then all of that times minus 1 plus the root of 5i plus 2 times minus 1 plus root of 5i plus a is equal to 0. This is minus 1. I mean, i squared is minus 1 times 5 is minus 5. Plus 1 is minus 4. So we got then minus 4 minus 2 root of 5i times minus 1 plus root of 5i 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 okay plus 2 times plus this is going to be plus 2 root of 5i plus a is equal to 0 from here <coughs> sorry minus 4 times 1 minus 1 is 4 minus 4 times root of 5i is minus 4 root of 5i Okay, and then minus 2 times 1 minus 1 is going to be, I mean, minus 2 root of 5i times minus 1 is plus 2 root of 5i. And minus 2 times plus is going to become minus root of 5 times root of 5 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So minus 10i square. Minus 10i square. Right, so from here, we got then minus 2 plus 2 root of 5i plus a is equal to 0. Now, we have then 4 minus 2 which is 2 and also minus root, I mean 4 root of 5i plus 2 root of 5i plus 2 root of 5i is plus 4 root of 5i minus 10 times i square minus 10 times minus 1 because i squared is minus 1 plus a is equal to 0 so these two is going to cross out I got then 2 minus minus becomes plus 10 plus a is equal to 0 12 plus a is equal to 0 meaning that a is going to be equal to minus 12 we need, to, we need also to state the other root of the equation so the other root is then z is equal to minus 1 if this is plus the other root which should be negative 5i root of 5i so here we are for the first part okay for the second part now we need to show that um, w minus 1 over w plus 1 is equal to i tan of theta given that the complex number W has modulus 1 and argument is equal to 2 theta radians. So we need to show that all of that's going to be equal to I tan, tan, I tan theta. Okay, so what we're going to do? We must remember that this um, <coughs> in the polar form we can have a complex number um, expressed in polar form 
where it is equal to cos of theta plus i sine of theta. <coughs> this also can be written as w is equal to e i uh, theta. The, the angle we we told is 2 i, I mean 2 theta radians, so that's why I'm putting 2 theta radians. So if this is w, then w minus 1, that's going to be e to the power of uh, i, i2 theta, okay, minus 1 over e to the power of i2 theta plus 1. So, where can we go from here? We can divide e i2 theta, okay, divided by e i2 theta, minus, sorry, we can divide by e i theta, because why I'm dividing by e i theta, it's because uh, the angle, to, when it is expressed in polar form, it's, it has to be theta. Also, it has to be theta here. So that's why I'm dividing this by I theta, e i theta, e to the i theta, minus 1. 1 divided by e i theta is e minus i theta, divided by e i 2 theta, over e i theta plus e minus i theta because if you take one you divide by e sine theta e uh, e to the i theta you're going to get e to the minus i theta when you divide of course you're going to subtract the powers so that's going to end up as e i theta minus e minus i theta divided by e i theta plus e minus i theta. Now we're good to go. This can be expressed as this here. Okay, so e, I to the th e to the i theta is the same as cos theta plus i sine theta. It's the same thing. All right, so therefore, for this one, I'm going to say cos theta plus i sine theta minus e to the minus i sine theta, so minus in brackets, cos of theta, um, plus e, no sorry, it's plus i sine of um, theta, minus theta. Okay, because this is minus here. Similarly, for the denominator, cos of theta uh, plus i sine theta, instead of plus, instead of minus, we're going to get plus here, so plus, and cos of theta, okay, plus i sine theta, so i sine of minus theta. So, here, yeah. cos of theta minus cos of theta. That's going to cancel out, of course. Then i sine theta, plus i sine of theta, minus, minus, I sine of minus theta is the same as minus I sine theta divided cos of theta plus cos of theta is 2 cos of theta I sine theta uh, plus plus so plus what is I sine of minus theta is the same as minus I sine theta Okay, so from here, what do we do? This is going to cancel out. This is going to become plus. So we've got then 2i sine theta divided by, now, 2 cos of theta. And here, plus minus is going to become minus. So i sine theta minus i sine theta, this is going to cancel out. What is sine of a cos? It is tan. 2 goes into 1. We've got i, so therefore we've got i, sine of a cos is tan theta. This has been shown. Because we were told to show that it is equal to i, I, tan, theta, I tan theta, and here we are i tan theta. So here we are for this question. Take care.